Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Rosalind Holiday Moore, and I am Acting Director of the Office of Minority Health at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I am pleased to announce the launch of an e-learning program that builds maternal health care providers' knowledge and skills related to cultural competency and cultural humility. The e-learning program is called Culturally and Linguistically Appropriate Services Class in Maternal Health Care. The program aligns with the new HHS Action Plan to Improve Maternal Health in America and the Surgeon General's Call to Action to Improve Maternal Health, both released in December 2020. The program supports the action plan's call to healthcare providers to deliver services that respect and respond to patients' culture and language preferences to bring about positive health outcomes for diverse populations. As the HHS action plan states, we have an opportunity for action. Given persistent and distressing maternal health disparities compounded by the stark COVID-19 disparities, we must ensure that all providers are equipped to deliver respectful, trustworthy, high quality care. It is a matter of life and death. That's why the Office of Minority Health is proud to offer this e-learning program, the newest addition to our suite of eight e-learning programs for both health professionals and students available for free at our Think Cultural Health website. Pregnancy and childbirth should be safer than ever. In fact, in other developed countries, rates of pregnancy-related deaths and near deaths are at historic lows. But this is not the case in the United States. Over the past 30 years, the maternal mortality rate in the U.S. has doubled. Worse, some social groups bear more the burden than others. Black women are three to four times more likely than white women to die in pregnancy or childbirth. American Indian, Alaska Native women are two to three times more likely to die. Even when controlling for social factors, Black women and American Indian, Alaska Native women have higher rates of maternal mortality and morbidity than white women. In other words, for white women, Higher income, education, and socioeconomic status translate into a lower risk of a pregnancy-related death or near death. But these factors do not protect Black women or American Indian Alaska Native women. One reason for these disparities is that generally, people of color, American Indian Alaska Native people, receive lower quality of care than white individuals. It starts young. Studies show that even in neonatal care units, white infants receive higher quality of care than Black or Hispanic infants. More women of color than white women report feeling mistreated, ignored, or dismissed by their maternal health providers. Lower quality of care across the lifespan, particularly in preconception, prenatal, and postpartum care, contributes to worse maternal health outcomes. One vital strategy to improve quality of care is to provide culturally and linguistically appropriate services, or CLASS. CLASS is defined as services that are respectful of and responsive to individual cultural health beliefs and practices, preferred languages, health literacy levels, and communication needs. Class is about respect and responsiveness. Respect the whole individual and respond to the individual's experiences, values, needs, and preferences. Class is one of OMH's cornerstones for advancing health equity. We see class as a critical lever for improving quality of care and thereby eliminating health disparities. Everyone deserves and desires to be treated with compassion, respect, and dignity. All the more so during pregnancy and childbirth, a special but often scary time. That's why the Office of Minority Health developed this e-learning program, Class and Maternal Health Care. 
Again, it is offered for free on OMH's Think Cultural Health website, and it is designed to equip maternal health care providers with the knowledge, awareness, and skills to deliver the highest quality care possible to every pregnant and birthing person. I'd now like to turn, turn it over to Jennifer Kenyon to walk you through the e-learning program. Thank you for your interest in the program and in supporting efforts to address maternal health disparities. Thank you. To teach providers about class, this e-learning program focuses on the complementary concepts of cultural competency and cultural humility. Cultural competency focuses more on developing the knowledge and critical thinking skills needed to communicate effectively with someone else. Cultural humility focuses more on developing a stance of openness, collaboration, and self-reflection. When practiced together, cultural competency and cultural humility offer the awareness, openness, and knowledge to engage more effectively with patients. The bottom line is that you can improve your quality of care by understanding, respecting, and responding to a patient's experiences, values, beliefs, and preferences. This e-learning program is designed for all maternal health care providers, as well as students. Specifically, the program offers two free continuing education credits for physicians, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, nurses, nurse midwives, and midwives. Other professionals, as well as students, will receive a statement of participation upon completion of the program. The program is divided into four modules. Module 1 provides a foundation for the rest of the program. It explains the role of class in improving quality and eliminating disparities. Module 1 also explains factors that contribute to worse maternal health outcomes for women of color and American Indian Alaska Native women, focusing on the effect of racism on social determinants of health, chronic stress and weathering, and quality of care. Awareness of the social context that drives health disparities is an important part of delivering respectful, trustworthy, high-quality care. Next, Module 2 focuses on self-awareness. Anytime we interact with someone else, our interaction is shaped by our own beliefs, values, and experiences, and those of the other person. Module 2 helps the learner become more aware of the things that shape that interaction, including areas of privilege, power, and bias. Module 3 focuses on awareness of a patient's cultural identity. It presents a strategy called individuating, or learning about and considering a patient's unique characteristics instead of relying on assumptions. The main idea is that the more you know about your patient's unique cultural identity and how it affects her everyday life, social determinants of health, and perceptions of healthcare, the better you'll be able to deliver high quality care. Finally, Module 4 presents practical strategies for connecting, communicating, and partnering with patients toward their best possible pregnancy and childbirth outcomes. Although a provider has clinical expertise in pregnancy and childbirth, a patient is the expert of their own life and body. Eliciting and listening to that information in a respectful and compassionate way is key to providing high quality care. Accompanying this content are engaging learning features, including case studies and self-reflection questions. A resource library includes links for additional learning, PDF takeaways, and a glossary. The program takes about two hours to complete, and it is designed to be completed at your own pace on your own time. Whenever you log back in, you'll pick up where you left off. In summary, the Class in Maternal Healthcare eLearning program offers practical content and a user-friendly learning experience. It teaches providers how to improve their quality of care by understanding, respecting, and responding to a patient's experiences, values, and beliefs. Ultimately, Class helps providers go back to the basics of care, which include connection and compassion. OMH sees this as a critical strategy for delivering the highest possible quality of care to everyone and addressing the disproportionate risks that Black women and American Indian, Alaska Native women face in maternal health care. 
If you are a provider, the change starts with you. We invite you to visit the program today at thinkculturalhealth.hhs.gov. Thank you for your interest in OMH's newest e-learning program. We encourage you to explore OMH's Think Cultural Health website for more programs and resources about class. And finally, thank you for supporting OMH Think Cultural Health's mission to advance health equity at every point of contact.